Okay, guys, so this is going to be day two of your lab. Um, if, if you notice, uh, I have your day two procedure. So what you're going to do is remove your tray. Okay, so what we did was we took the tray out of the drying oven. Okay, and as you can see, um, that is your dried copper. Okay, um, the aluminum wire we did yesterday, um, and we weighed that yesterday. And so now we're going to just record the leftover aluminum wire, okay, and record the mass in our data table. All right, now, the day before, you should have had in your data table, okay, we already weighed the um, mass of the clean, dry, labeled evaporating dish, which is the little clear tray. All right, so I'm going to put my tray on here, and I'm going to turn. Okay, so the mass of my tray and copper is 32.90 grams, okay? So now you're gonna write that in your data table where it talks about the mass of, let me move this back a little bit, um, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna look at that where it talks about the mass of the evaporating dish and the dried copper in grams. You're going to take the difference between those, and then that's going to be the actual mass of recovered dried copper in grams. Okay. Now, you should have already answered this day one question here, where you did the um, mass mass calculation with your limiting reagent, which should have been copper chloride, and you should have done a mass mass calculation with copper chloride. Okay. Then divide by the molar mass of copper chloride. You would do your mole ratio, which is three over three, three coppers over three copper chloride. And then the last thing should have been the multiplying by the molar mass of copper. And that should have given you your theoretical yield of copper. So now on your day two questions on this side, okay, what you're gonna be doing is calculating the percent yield, which is in number one here. Percent yield, which you should have known from the video, is the actual over the theoretical times by 100. So what you should have done is you should have taken the actual, what we just massed out, the difference in the, in the uh, mass of your dish and the mass of the copper. So that would give you your actual yield, what we just massed out, divided by your calculated grams of copper from the theoretical yield, which was the day one calculation take actual over theoretical times by 100, and that's gonna be the percentage of copper that you yielded in the lab. Then the rest of these are gonna be observation questions. So number two says, what physical evidence do you have that shows copper two chloride is indeed the limiting reactant? Well, what happened? When did we actually stop the reaction? What happened uh, when uh, with the blue color of the copper chloride after the reaction was completed, okay? So you may wanna go back and watch that video of what it looked like after the reaction completed. Then it says, what physical evidence do you have that shows aluminum to be the excess? How do we know that aluminum was the excess, okay? Then you're gonna compare the grams of aluminum initially and the grams of aluminum, excuse me, the difference in the grams of aluminum left over versus the, um, calculated number of grams of aluminum we needed for the lab to take place, okay? And then you'll talk about some potential reasons why you could potentially get over 100%. Talk about the impurities. You know, sometimes when you dry copper, you may not have um, dried it long enough and you still may have impurities in there. Well, these impurities have mass, right? So that could contribute to the mass being greater than what it should have been causing an, a percent error over 100%. Um, and, and then you'll answer questions five and six, okay? So there's your video. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Uh, we'll start back on Monday. My seniors, good luck to you. Um, you graduate next week. So have a great rest of your week off next week and getting ready for graduation. And my juniors, we're just going to press forward and um, start a uh, a project that we're going to do on Thursday. We're going to start it Thursday and continue on with that project. Okay. So y'all have a good day.